Now, with limited flights from Israel, getting back to the U.S. has been a struggle and has made for some emotional reunions. CBS News' John Diaz is live at Newark Airport, where one flight just landed. John. Yeah, Chris and Mary, good morning to both of you. Well, this is day three of us being positioned out here at Terminal B of Newark Liberty International Airport, coming to you guys live the last few days. And, you know, we have been speaking with, over the last few days, dozens of passengers who have been flying from Israel back here to America. And what we have been learning is what you could imagine. Uh, these passengers, they are still full of just so much pride for Israel, but also so much worry. I'm afraid for my son. I'm afraid for his son. That's because this Pittsburgh woman says they're still over in Israel. She was on her way to visit them when Hamas carried out their terrorist attacks and was then left stranded in Cape Town. But just yesterday, finally returned back to America, full of concern for her loved ones in the Middle East. My 100-year-old mother-in-law who has to somehow maneuver to a bomb shelter with her caregiver. At Newark Liberty International Airport, most people getting out of harm's way tell us they have a feeling of survivor's remorse, but others are saying they can't stay here for long. My plans were to keep on going back and forth because I have so much family in Israel, but I, I can't imagine staying here. This Israeli businessman here for work was traumatized from volunteering in the recovery efforts of the war. What I saw. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't sleep. I actually faint over there. Since major U.S. airlines still have direct flights to and from Israel grounded for the near future, most people trying to leave are relying on foreign airlines and charter flights to get back to America. I know of uh, people who ended up going to one or two other countries. If you had a United Airlines, Delta Airlines, or American Airlines ticket, you were up the creek. Now, there are also people here in America who have loved ones trapped in Gaza. On Monday, Palestinian American groups said that around 500 Americans are still trapped in that city. For now, we are live this morning from Newark Liberty International Airport. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. Thank you, John.